The next modification for Project Dual Sport Daily is going to be the Goose Gear tailgate table. One feature of this particular tailgate table that I think makes it stand out from the rest is the fact that it does not have cables that support the lower portion of the table or any kind of straps. This means that when the table is deployed, there's nothing to obstruct anything from left or right, which is super convenient when you're talking about a Wrangler that the tailgate doesn't open up much further than the flat panel of the side of the vehicle. So here, if you're trying to pull something out from the interior and stage it on the table, you can pull it straight across and not have a cable or a strap in the way. And if you're using this as a cooking surface, you can have your stove here and your pots and pans and you're not worried about your handles getting caught up in either a strap or that same cable. And lastly, and maybe most importantly to me, when I'm going down that dirt road, having a loose cable or a strap that's not under some kind of preload is just another item that's gonna rattle on the interior. So there's more features to talk about, but let's get into the installation so I can show you how to get this tailgate table on your Jeep JL or JLU. When you open the box, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised by the fact there's not 100 unassembled parts. Goose Gear has done the majority of the work making sure that the backing plate, the hinges, the locking mechanism is fully assembled and ready to install. They've only provided you with some hardware to put on and of course some of the sealer that goes around the backing plate when you mount it to the tailgate. So let's go ahead and get that tailgate panel off so we can expose all of the holes we're going to have to look at to put the proper bolts and bushings in to get that backing plate mounted correctly. The panels pop off pretty easy. You can use a panel removal tool, a screwdriver, or a pick. Nothing here is extremely tight. In so far that if you get to this stage where you're going to pull the rear panel off, it's a lot easier to hook your finger into one of the holes and just pull firmly away. If it does leave behind any of these uh, quick release retainers, we wanna make sure we pop those off so they don't make any rattling noise behind the goose gear table when it's installed on the back of the tailgate. Now we have two bushings to install. The larger bushing goes into position number two at the top here. The next one is gonna be the smaller bushing and that's gonna go into position number one. Here's a look at the tailgate with the two bushings installed. And as you can see, there's a lot of holes here. So in Goose Gear's instructions, they do provide a label. So we'll go back and show that now. You have position one, position two, which we have talked about, three, four, five across the top, six, seven down the right, and then of course, eight and nine across the bottom. I am gonna be referring to these locations throughout the rest of the installation. So keep a mental note or just come back to this position in the video. Now we're gonna to have to clean up the backside of the mounting plate here. And I'm just using a little bit of like window cleaner to get any fingerprints or dust off of it. Uh, and that's so that we can put down this foam weather liner. This is simply a, a seal that's gonna go around the edge. Obviously it's gonna keep it from vibrating and of course letting anything get behind it, dust and whatnot. Uh, but when we put this down, we wanna make sure that it sticks well. So here I'm just gonna be pulling the backing off of it and applying it about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. And as I'm applying it, I'm just making sure that I only apply pressure once I've got it down in the exact place I want. And I'm just tracing the outside edge. It's a little more complicated on the inside edge, but just take your time. The material is very easy to work into the shape that you need to around the edge. And when we get to the end here, we're just gonna go ahead and trim that and leave it so that the material overlaps. I put a little strip of the extra on the bottom. That's 100% unnecessary, but up to you. So now I'm just laying out the hardware so that you can see the differences and you'll see each piece of hardware, depending on the location is gonna be different. And I physically laid this out the same as it would go into the door. So at the bottom left is position one, working clockwise across the top and then across the bottom, finishing with nine right next to position one. So here are those numbers portrayed the same way as they would appear as if it was being bolted into the back of the tailgate. Now we're ready to take the entire assembly and position it on the tailgate and start getting some of the hardware installed. As you'll see here, this is something I am gonna do myself. However, a second person will really make this a lot easier. In my case, I am just gonna open this up and place it against the end of the tailgate, put a little bit of pressure on it and try to line up the holes. We are looking at trying to get into positions number three, four, and five. That's the three holes across the Goose logo plate. And as you can see here with a second person, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier. I'm trying to look over the top and get that hole to line up with the bolt. But if you're struggling with anything, don't cross thread it. Just use one of the other holes and get it started. Again, what we're trying to do here is get everything in position, not getting anything too tight as we need to make sure everything lines up. Again, you'll see me here. I'm gonna get this one started, start a couple of threads to make sure nothing backs out. And then I'm gonna go back and put in position number three and then work my way back to that middle hole position number four. 
The position number two piece is the part that has a self-tapping screw that goes into a bushing. And in this one, we want to make sure the bushing is properly aligned. And you'll see me here using the Allen key to help position that in the hole. And then we're going to put all the rest of the hardware in, making sure not to over tighten anything. I would highly recommend you do everything by hand and not use any kind of impact or power tool to get everything up to its final position. All the threads have some sort of thread locker on them, so they will require a little bit of force to get them all the way in. But again, taking your time here and making sure not to over tighten, we'll make sure we have a quality installation. Here we are, we've got our 55 pound capacity table, our chopping board, all of it compact and ready to go on our next off-road adventure. Hopefully you found that installation video helpful. I do plan to get this with my other camp gear all sorted out on the trail and give you guys a little bit more of my personal opinion on what the benefits were of that. So if you like the content, hit the like button. If you want to be first in line to get the next piece of content coming out, make sure you hit that bells and notification button. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.